Hey there everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters. And Miss Sylvia is here. And Mr. Asher is here. And Claire is here too. Hey oh, Max hey wants to come. Max wants to be in the video too. Come here, Max. He can't come even here. reach it. Come here, get up here. He's too lazy. So it is a cold and snowy, snowy day here. Um, we got a lot of snow last night, and um, our water, let's see, how do I explain this? Our water pipes inside the camper, like underneath, where the, the hose connects to the camper, froze like solid right there last night. And um, we have a, a heated water hose that runs from the water source to the camper, but beyond that, it froze. And so I had to go and um, get some heat tape today and, and fix that up so that won't happen anymore. And spent about an hour outside in the snow with a hair dryer <laughs> trying to thaw it out and, and fix it with the heat tape and everything. The whole, the whole process took me about an hour. So I was just really, really cold today and I've been trying to get warmed up all day. So I've got the heater running, I've got my coffee, and I'm just trying to get warmed up. <laughs> and um, so I thought I would just do a video of our first half of December. So I figured, um, let's see, for the first half, to, half of December, the 1st through the 15th, on eBay, we sold about 36 items. Um, the cost of those items was $120.00. And the profit on those items after eBay fees and PayPal fees and um, I give myself a shipping allowance for, um, you know, supplies like mailers and tape and paper and ink and all those things. So after all the, that, my profit was $766.78 for, for the first half of December. So I'm going to show you, um, of those 36 items that sold on eBay, I'm going to show you 20 of those items right now. Um, kind of the, the, the more interesting and the better sales. So let's get started with that. Alright, so this first item that I'm showing you right here is a, um, this is from a Mini Cooper. And I guess they, they must have some kind of a, a clip that fastens into the car somewhere for these. And so I found this at the thrift store for $3. It is an, a sunglass case. And it does say Mini Cooper right on the top. Like that. Um, so anyways, I found that for $3 at the, at the thrift store. It sold for $15 plus $3 shipping and handling. Alright, so this is a pair of prescription eyeglasses. I do sell a lot of prescription eyeglasses. I find them at thrift stores, I buy them in eBay lots, um, sometimes I find them on Craigslist or from yard sales or whatever. I find them in different places, um, I always find them very cheap. I, I rarely pay more than 3 or 4 dollars for a pair of prescription eyeglasses. Now they do have the lenses in them, which are a prescription that I do not know the, the strength or the prescription on. And so I sell them with the prescription lenses in them basically just as a placeholder. So they will have to be replaced, and I do list that in my listing that they would have to be removed and replaced with their own prescription or clear lenses if they just wanted them. Um, so this is a pair here. They're, the name brand is Jones New York. There you go. Um, I paid $2 for these at the Goodwill, and I did take a best offer for $40 on this pair. Of eyeglasses okay so this is a pair of Gucci prescription eyeglasses same thing I do not know the, the strength of these lenses and um, they will have to be replaced um, you can see the name Gucci there on the side kind of hard to see there I didn't get very good pictures of these these I paid a dollar for at the Goodwill and they sold for a best offer of $20 all right this is a brass little um, candle holder. It is vintage. It didn't have any markings on it. I find these once in a while at the thrift stores for a dollar or two and I, I pick them up if they're in good condition and they're cheap enough because they don't sell for a lot. 
And it depends on how big they are, how ornate they are. But um, they do sell pretty well. I've sold several of them. This one here I found for a dollar at the Goodwill. And it sold for $15 plus shipping. Alright, this is another pair of prescription eyeglasses. This is a pair of Nike with Flexon eyeglasses. These were not in good condition at all. They were very rough. As you can see, they're very scratched up. They're on the top. Um, not good condition at all. Um, these I took a best offer of $25 and I paid $3 for them at a thrift store. Okay, this is a vintage Bible from 1955. It is a Demolay Bible. If you don't know what Demolay is, it's basically a branch of the Masonic Lodge somewhere. Um, the only reason I know about it is because my husband was sent to these Demolay meetings as a child. And so he told me about it, and then I found this at the thrift store, and I just thought it was kind of odd, so I grabbed it. I paid $4 for it mostly just because I wanted to show Aaron <laughs> and so I showed him and, and he got a kick out of it. It had a ribbon in it from the conclave and Aaron remembered going to these conclave meetings and stuff and then it just had some weird ritual pictures and different things in it. It was kind of an odd find. Um, like I said I paid four dollars for that at a thrift store and I took a best offer of twenty two dollars and fifty cents plus shipping for that Bible. Demolay. <laughs> okay, this is something I found at the thrift store for two dollars. It was brand new. Um, it's a nail dryer and it was still wrapped in the plastic inside and everything it hadn't even been opened. Um, I listed it for $25 and it sold right away for $25 plus, plus shipping. So that was a good find. All right, this is something that Aaron found, and he found five of these. And he paid $4 each for them, and they sold very quickly. Um, they were these little ignition control modules for something. I don't even know. But um, I sold, let's see, there were two different models. This model here sold for $80. So I sold three of these for $80 each and then there was another model that was similar but a little bit different that sold. We had two of those and they sold for $50 each and they all sold within a week. So that was really good. Um, like I said, he paid $4 each for them. There was five of them. So $20 invested and our total profit on those was $255.33 after eBay fees and everything. So that was a really good find on those. So keep your eyes open in the industrial area for things like this because they do sell really well. Very interesting. Probably not something I would have bought, so I'm glad Erin got them. <laughs> Let's see, these are a prescription pair of eyeglasses by the name of Charmont. They were titanium. Um, these I took a best offer of 30, oh no, $25 on these. Okay, this was an interesting thing. Um, we found this at an estate auction. The name brand on it was Turner, and it was an old blowtorch. I don't know if it worked or not. I didn't test it out. But, um... It sold for, let's see, $20. We took a best offer of $20 on this, and the post office lost it. So I did refund the buyer their full price um, plus shipping, which was like $32. And um, I filed a insurance claim with the post office, and they paid it, so got my money back on that. So we did make about $15 on it after everything, even though the post office lost it, which was too bad because it was really cool. And the person that purchased it had purchased it as for a gift for somebody, and they were really excited to get it. And so that was really unfortunate that the post office lost it. But it just completely, it was just 
completely MIA. There was no tracking or anything anywhere for it. And I dropped it off at the post office and kind of forgot about it. And then she emailed me a few days later and said, hey, I haven't got it. There's no tracking uploaded. So contacted the post office. Nobody knew where it was. So I filed an insurance claim. I think I had to wait 15 days, but they did pay. So all worked out in the end for me anyways. Uh, let's see. This is a pair of Laura Ashley prescription eyeglasses. This was also an unfortunate sale because I had another pair of eyeglasses that were almost exactly like these, except for they were just a, a tiny bit different, and I grabbed the wrong pair and sent them off. So I did have to pay um, to send this, the, the correct pair out and then a return label to have the other pair returned to me. So it cost me a little bit more than it should have as far as shipping goes. But these sold for $20, or best offer of $20. Unfortunately, shipping cost me $7.80 instead of $2.60 since I had to pay for all the extra labels, but still made a few dollars on them, so it wasn't terrible. And this is a um, Michael Kors eyeglass case just a case no eyeglasses um, this one sold for $12 plus shipping and handling and I paid 50 cents for this okay this is a set of coasters made of cedar I found these at a thrift store for $2.50 um, was a set of four they all had a different, oh no, they were all the same pretty much, but they were hand painted, so they were a tiny bit different. Um, they sold for $15 plus shipping. This was a neat find. Um, this is a whistling kettle. Let me find the name on it. This is actually copper, even though it looks like, um, so it's a, a chrome plated solid copper whistling kettle. And it even says it right there on the bottom. Solid copper right there. Um, this I found at the thrift store for $4. And it sold for um, $99.95 plus shipping. So that was a great sale. It was gorgeous. The only thing that was really wrong with it was the handle was kind of faded up here. The paint. And I thought about painting it and making it better. But as I looked, they were selling in even worse condition for this much. So I decided just to leave it because it was kind of nice, you know, that it had a little bit of wear to it. And it was just in beautiful condition. No dents or scratches except for on the very bottom. And even there it wasn't terrible. Oh, there was some splatter, like some grease splatters on one side. But not too bad. Um, for a hundred dollars. Very nice find. I was really pleased with that one. Alright, this is a pair of Cole Haan prescription eyeglasses. These we took a best offer of $30 on. Let's see. They had a few scratches, but not terrible. There's the nameplate there. It says Cole Haan. And this is a pair of antique gold-filled spectacles with mother-of-pearl nose pieces. They were in really nice condition, actually, for as old as they were. And those I took a best offer of $40. Alright, this is a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarer sunglasses. These are not prescription, just regular sunglasses. They were the authentic Ray-Ban Wayfarer. And um, I made a video about how to tell um, authentic Ray-Ban Ray Wayfarers from the, the fakes, but I lost it. So hopefully I'll find that and get it posted soon because I used this pair of glasses before I sent them out to show you how you can tell the the authentic ones. These I found at the thrift store for three dollars and they were just hanging up with the rest of the eyeglasses on the on the display there and um, three bucks. 
They sold for eighty nine ninety five. Alright, this is a pair of Anne Klein prescription sunglasses. You can see the lion head there on the side. Oh, they also had an Anne Klein case that went with them. They were kind of a cream color on the inside. Really pretty. You can see the... Oh, you can kind of see it there. It's kind of hard to see, but... These I paid $2.25 for. I bought a lot of Anne Klein glasses on eBay. And I think there was like 12 or 13... And Klein glasses in the lot and I figured I paid about two dollars and twenty five cents per frame out of that lot so two dollars and twenty five cents plus um, a dollar for the case that I found at a thrift store and those sold for thirty five dollars and this is a pair of Oleg Cassini Cassian I don't know how to say that Cassini I'm just gonna say Cassini no, correct me if I'm wrong um, these I paid $3 for at a thrift store, and they sold for best offer of $25. This is a pair of Candies prescription eyeglasses. I paid $2 for these at a thrift store, and then I paid $1 for the case. And they sold for $35 free shipping. And the last item I have to show you is this Elwood Nut Bowl. So I found this at a thrift store for $5. It was the authentic Elwood. It had the, the nutcracker and the little picks with it. And it sold for best offer of $25 plus shipping. Okay, so that's all I have to show you in this video. I'll do the next half of December here pretty soon. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, share the videos with your friends. I'm trying to get my subscribers and my views up so maybe I can actually start making a little bit of money with YouTube eventually. Um, so far, I'm not making any money with YouTube. <laughs> but I'd like to get to where I'm making a little bit of money with YouTube. I mean, that'd be nice to... Um, to be able to have a little bit extra income there since I am staying home with the kids now um, and I am the sole breadwinner for the household now. <laughs> so um, anyways, that would really help me out if you could do that and um, appreciate everybody watching and I appreciate everybody's prayers and kind words and thoughts and everything. I just, I appreciate it so much. It's just been, it's just been very inspiring to see how everybody kind of um, how everybody cares, I guess, is the best way to describe it. it. Just, I just thank you very much for everything. All right, well, uh, I guess that's all I have to say right now. So I'm going to get this uploaded. Um, I know it's a little bit longer than normal, but um, I had a lot of things to share. So hopefully you made it through to the end. <laughs>